What y'all doing out there in TV land, man? If you ain't tuned in to Kofi's universe, you slipping. That's why I go get all my info for Black Culture. He do the best album reviews I seen. You know what I'm saying? Dope rap reaction videos. He do it all. You heard me? Go to Kofi's universe right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Man, stay in tune, loved one. That's how it's happening. Me. <laughs> YouTube salute. Ice Cube has shut down. Candace Owens wild claim that gangster rap was created by the feds. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. We're almost at 30k subs, y'all. Woohoo! All right, so Candace Owens, she went on X, formerly Twitter, last week and claimed that the popular yet polarizing hip hop subgenre originated not from the streets, but directly from the U.S. government. And this is what she wrote. Gangster rap was never black culture. It was created by the feds who proffered deals to homosexual black men in prison and then turned them into artificial celebrities. The goal was to create false idols to destroy black American values. I will never change my mind on this. So here comes Ice Cube. We called it reality rap. The industry coined it gangster rap. The fans wanted gangster rap, and that's what they got. The fans didn't write none of my shh. It's H I T. I'm a real MC. Um, so I had somebody, I guess, tag Ice Cube on Twitter, aka X, and wanted him to um, respond back. Um, yeah. So people on social media are split when it comes to this. Some people are sided with Candace and some people are sided with um, Ice Cube. So if you think about it, gangster rap, it really wasn't even gangster rap at that time. You know, if you think about NWA, when Ice Cube first came out, as far as with NWA before he went solo, you know, they were talking about F the police. 100 miles of running, you know, even, you know, just, they was given their, they was given their personal experience what goes on in the hood. You know, even though some of them did, wasn't from no gang, but they were from the streets, so they knew what was going on. Express yourself, you know. At that time, when rap was first coming out, as far as hip-hop, rap, it wasn't the gangster rap like go kill your brother or sister. It was nothing like that. It was really more of just like the voice of the people. Somebody actually who is the voice of the streets. So if you think about it, when Ice Cube, even when he went um when he went solo and his first um his first solo um studio album, you know, the songs he was talking about, it still showed you know, what was going on in the hood as far as like, he didn't, he didn't say go get a dope sack, go serve your brother and sister. They had nothing to do with that. Like he was not trying to actually push that. That wasn't, that wasn't even him. Now, as far as, um, Candace Owens, when she talks about basically, you know, let me go back to what she's saying. She's basically saying that so the homosexual black men in prison, so they was actually paid by the feds and they use them as artificial celebrities. I'm not saying that never happened, but that wasn't the, the origin of gangster rap. That happened probably later on down the line. You see what I'm saying? That happened later on down the line, but that was never like the, we're going to do this ice cube, easy E yellow, Dr. Dre MC ran, you know, they didn't all say, you know what y'all, this is what we're going to do. You know, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about that. We're going to tell people to say F you and F you and, and kill each other. That was the last thing on their mind. That was the last thing on their mind. They, they, didn't, they didn't care about that. You know, they were against the police, the system, all the stuff that was going on. You know, um, <laughs> you know, there was even songs like in the West Coast. We all in the same game. People from the Bay Area all the way down to San Diego, 
you know, coming together, you know, put together by um King T. You had Young MC, you had Tone Loke, Easy E. You see, you had all those type of people coming together because they were trying to actually get unity. It was all about unity. So I think she needs to do her research when it comes to that. Um, you know, because NWA, they were directly involved in the matter of, as trying to be models as far as for the people. You know, they really cared about doing great things. Even Easy e met with the president. Easy e went to the White House. Ronald, Ronald Reagan. No shit, for real. Y'all, a lot of people don't know about that. You see what I'm saying? So it's the fact that yeah, I, I think she's looking at, she's trying to take what's going on now and trying to put that back in the 80s. The feds, I'm going to tell you what the feds did. When the feds saw how gangster rap was galvanizing the people, the people are starting to become, you know, awake, like, oh shit. That's when they infiltrated. That's when they infiltrated, basically, say, okay, this is what we're going to do. So they start to cause, you know, division in they removed hip hop as far as they couldn't attack hip hop. So they went the rap area. So that's how it became more of the gangster rap. When you had people like the Bloods and the Crips, when I mean the Bloods and the Crips putting out their music and just people still was just speaking real knowledge, but they was trying to actually make the East Coast and West Coast. Think about Tupac and Biggie. Tupac only had a problem with Biggie, y'all. You remember that? Tupac didn't say F the East Coast. Biggie never said F the West Coast. Nobody from the South never said F the East Coast or F the Midwest or the Midwest never said F the South. If you had a problem with one person, that was what it what it was at that time. Not no entire coast. It's too many people to be calling out. But the feds have done slick stuff. They have infiltrated and, you know, caused confusion, you know, as far as like Censoring what comes out too, because I remember um Young Buck. This was on his second album called Buck the World that came out in 2006, right? Check this out. Don't you know? Oh, no, no, no. His album came out in 2007. because it was supposed to come out in 2006. Don't you know he had a song called F the Police and they wouldn't let him put it out as far as his record label? So that's what I'm saying. The fans does do have control over the label. And it's not the feds that's telling, it's not the feds telling the artists. The feds is in cahoots with the record labels. So they're working together as far as like, make sure this goes out, make sure we do this. I mean, if you think about it, J. Edgar Hoover said a long time ago, he said there will never be another black messiah when he actually made sure uh, Marcus Garvey uh, went to prison for mail fraud. And then even after Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, MLK, Megar Evers, Stokely Carmichael, a.k.a. Kwame Ture, Fred Hampton Sr. Think about it. They saw how a person like Ice Cube, a person like Chuck D, a person like Ice-T, those type of rappers, even Too Short, throw Too Short in there. There was a lot of rappers that was actually giving their accounts of what was going on in the ghetto, and they didn't want that. So they made sure that they had to do something to the disrupt that momentum did they disrupt it to a certain degree yeah but they, they the message still got out there the message still got out there but ice cube wrote his own lyrics that's the thing now some of these new goofballs out here that sound you know ridiculous and that's that's yeah like a, a person like six nine yeah that's from the feds i agree with that that's from the feds whatever you know what i'm saying because think about it he ain't never been a part of no blood stuff, right? And they got him on. Then he put all those people to jail, Trey Wade, and then with the um, prison and stuff. So, yeah, that stuff like that. But, no, when it comes to N.W.A., Public Enemy, Ice-T, King T, DJ Quick, Too Short, Spice One, you know, the real, you know, the real hip-hop pioneers? No, nah, that ain't. The fans had nothing to do with that. Post your comments below. Hoax smash, Black Parent to the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.